Hey everybody, what's up? Old School NYC Gamer, back once again here with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys and gals out there a piece of video gaming history that some of you do know, but quite a few of you don't know. Now, a lot of you old time gamers, if you recognize this logo, you probably already know what I'm talking about. But for those who don't, I'm going to zoom out so you can see what I'm talking about. And that is Entex Industries, or Entex Electronics, or Entex Games, however you want to perceive that. Now, there's quite a bit of history with this company that started back in 1970, and it was founded by three people, Tony Klaus, Nicholas Carzoli, and Nick Underhill. And these three, at one point, put out some of the best handheld games out there in the industry in the late 70s and early 80s. The company itself started back in 1970, and at one point, you know, even I believe in 1980, the company achieved sales in excess of over a hundred million dollars, and that's pretty, uh, you know, pretty good. But you know, of course, the video game crash, a lot of companies went under, including them, and I believe within the early to mid 80s, they folded. But you know, they did put out quite a few games surprisingly uh such games as i can mention as pac-man 2 defender blast it 3d grand prix so on and so forth now i'm going to show you the catalog that they released here i've had this you know for quite a while I was coming across it when i was cleaning out the games room so i just want to show you hopefully it won't go too out of focus here some of the stuff that they have here some of the games and quite a few that you know you might recognize so let's get right into it here people now of course when you uh, look at the catalog the very first thing you know you open up the first page here just talks about more about you know some of the games that they have available and of course it's uh, kind of a fold-out game so I'll just show you a uh, fold out catalog I'll show you some of the games they had here now they go by numbers this is number 6013 electronic tennis and as you can see it's uh, pretty simplistic as you can see right there and as we go down we have baseball and of course this is like kind of derived from the metal electronics you know design as you can see over where the pitcher side is right there where you could hide uh, your pitching selection from the batter excuse me and of course over here this is the original baseball from Entex pretty simple design of course it has the same deal as it would here for uh, baseball 3 now, of course, here, this is Basketball 2, which is basically a head-to-head. -head. You know, very simplistic. Also, kind of the uh, like, uh, Mattel Electronics kind of uh, feel to it, except it's a full court and not a half court. And, of course, as we continue on over here, people, this is football. So they kind of really try to do a lot of the sports uh, franchises when they first came out. And here you have uh, Raise the Devil, which is kind of a kind of is a rare uh, pinball electronic game and you don't see too many of these in the wild or let alone on eBay for like an extravagant amount of money and as we move on here people because I continue to support franchises here you have soccer and down here you have hockey but of course I do want to mention Entex wasn't just about sports games they did do quite a few uh, other games like card games here such as poker and over here you have Jackpot, Jim Rummy, and Blackjack. Now, I do want to mention as well, though, people, like I said, it wasn't all just about uh, sports games. They did do quite a few. Uh, they tried to do a little franchises here. Like I said, they uh, did one for Space Invaders or, of course, Space Invader. You know, like I said, very simplistic to say. If you haven't played Space Invaders, then <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But of course here, this is the other game I was talking about here, which is Blast It. And a Blast It basically is a breakout clone uh, in, in uh, less terms. But of course here, they try to continue the franchise here with uh, Football 4. Which you can tell, like I said, it was more of the Mattel Electronics, you know, go from side to side instead of top to bottom. And of course this was in color. So of course, you know, you could tell which one was the home team, which one was the away team, so on and so forth. Now we're going to flip over to the other side here. Now this is where they got they uh, try to do a little different concepts of certain games. Now of course here this is a musical Marvin. Now of course you can tell totally right now this is a Simon clone. But they did try to do it differently with uh, more different musical notes. Um, as I believe you know it was definitely a lot you know 
it was a spin on Simon, and they definitely did want to do it quite a bit differently. Now, of course, here you have the Mac Mini Computer, as you can see right there. Now, this is like a it was a 4K microcomputer that actually you know functioned as a calculator, and you could also uh, have stuff uh, you could play here. As you can see, you had uh, where is it the programs that you had actual cassettes that you could use to uh, play certain games, so on and so forth. And it even had a 16 uh, LED matrix display. Uh, I've never really seen this toy, so I really don't know too much about it. But this next one I actually do remember um, seeing a bit, and I believe there was a commercial if I'm wrong. And this is the Dan Van. It's one of the first true recognition toys where uh, if you talk to it, it would basically go straight, left, right, on command. Now, there were a few toys after that, a few other uh, remote control cars that kind of did the same premise. And this was definitely one of those fun little toys, you know, because you felt like you were in control of a toy, and this was one of them right here. Now, keeping on with that theme here, we have uh, one of the first RC motorcycles that Entex did, and that's the uh, RC motorcycle. And, of course, you know, for it, this actually ran on, you know, two wheels. It wasn't a... You know, it had little training wheels or anything like that. It actually did run on two wheels. And I remember quite a few years later, Tyco did the same premise, uh, but they Tyco wasn't the first to do this. So this was, of course, the uh, Cathay Racer RC motorcycle. So it definitely was kind of a cool thing to see, especially in 1980. Now, of course, over here, people, sorry, this is a uh, hip pocket baseball. You know, it was the uh, smallest uh, version of baseball for Intex. Now, of course, down here, uh, you have Alien Invaders, which, okay, like I said, once again, you know, it was a little bit of a spin on, uh, you know, on Space Invaders. But this is more of a, I believe, a wind-up, but um, I know it does take two batteries, uh, two AA batteries, as you can see right there. And of course, next up here, people, they uh, even tried to do puzzle games here, which uh, I'm going to show you. This is Capture. So not necessarily, you know, it's more of those simple games that you can kind of play with a friend. And of course, down here, you have Traps. You know, they did try to do a lot more uh, skilled games and not just, you know, um, other regular games. And of course, last but not least, people, this is Frantic Finger. Now, as you can see here... Kind of a, uh, a weird game, to say the least, that Entex try to do. And, you know, basically, I guess, you know, you have to get certain objects, stack them uh, with the cards that came with the game. And that's about it, people. So, like I said, I just wanted to show you a quick bit of a little bit of video gaming or gaming history here from Entex. And that's about it, people. Like I said, it was a quick video. I just wanted to show, you know, some of the stuff that we missed back in the day. And, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed it. Feel free to check me out on Facebook and Twitter if you have any questions or comments. Feel free to leave them right down there. And that's about it, people. Have a great night and take care. Cheers.